Hi, I'm Mandy Issa. And if you're somebody who struggles with anxious thoughts, I want to encourage you from Philippians chapter four, verses six through seven. It says, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything with prayer and petition, present your request to God and the peace of God that transcends all understanding will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. Let me break that down for you. It's not saying don't feel anxious. It's saying what to do when you feel anxious. Present your request to God, but don't forget the Thanksgiving part. If you present your request to God, but you still have a heart of gratitude, you will understand that the peace of God is able to transcend every anxious thought that you are feeling. So live by the word of God. Live according to Philippians chapter four, verses six through seven, and receive the peace of God that transcends your understanding. There's a lot of shame surrounding depression and feeling like you are less of a Christian if it's something that you battle with. Mm -hmm. But as I read the Bible, I see a lot of people who I think struggled with depression. Yeah. And what I see is God's compassion. And I don't see God turning his back away and saying, I'm so disappointed in you. I'm good all the time. And how could you question that? What I see is him going to that person in love and acceptance. And it's through his grace that they start to come out of it. Mm -hmm. And so that's that's the conversation I want to start in Christendom is that it's not something that we should hide and act like it doesn't exist. Yeah. I think it's something we need to talk about because a lot of people are wrestling with things like this. Mm -hmm. Christian Rocco's radio station, Caleb, announced her passing on a Friday. Mandisa's cause of death is still unknown. The California native, whose full name was Mandisa Henry, died at her home in Nashville, Tennessee, on Thursday. Even more than her music, the platinum selling singer will forever be known for her huge heart and sincerity. A Christian radio station, K Love, said in a statement, Mandisa love, loved Jesus and she used her usually extensive platforms to talk about him at every turn. Her kindness was epic, her smile electric, her voice massive, but it was no match for the size of her heart. The, the station's media officer, David Pierce, went on. Melissa struggled and she was vulnerable enough to share that with us, which helped us to talk about her own struggles. The musician is best known for landing in the top 10 when she appeared on the season 5 of American Idol, pressing in 9th. At the time, she cited Dave Leopard and Whitney Houston as some of her musical influencers. Melissa studied vocal jazz at American River College in Sacramento and in music at the Physic University in Tennessee. She went on to release her debut album, True Beauty, in 2007. Her 2013 album, Overcomer, won a Grammy for Best Contemporary Christian Music Album. After losing a close friend of cancer, a friend for whom she wrote her award-winning song, Overcomer, Mandisa descended into a dark pit of depression isolating himself as of from family and friends. Two years later, in Mandisa's friends and family intervened and surrounded her, filling her with positivity. They forced me to get counseling, Mandisa explained in an interview with the CHVN in 2022. That is when I finally started dealing with that grief that I had been starving down. It was through my counseling journey that I finally started opening up and it was through the love of the people around me that I started dealing with these things. Manisa wrote about her struggles in her book, Out of the Dark. My journey through the shadows to find God's joy raised in 2012. I think so many people have struggled, even people that was we see in Bible. The way that I see God addresses those people is not by saying I am so ashamed of you. I am so disappointed, but with love and with grace. I think that is how we should respond to each other as well. I want to encourage people, even if you think you are not making a difference, 
reaching out to letting somebody know that you care and that you love them they hear that whether or not you get the responses that you want they hear it and it doesn't make a difference the cause of her death is still unknown we shall be bringing you the follow-up up of this story when it appears for those of our dear viewers who have watched up to this far thank you so much for giving us your time